for so long. We've been here. We've been trying. Hi there. And welcome to another exciting edition of the Springboard Hangout. As you know, the Springboard Hangout, your fundicated program, that makes us have an opportunity to have fun and yet learn or have insights about things that concern us in our real world. We have started a series on personal branding and today we're looking at the difference between you and your corporate brand and how you can make sure that you have correct balance between the two. My name is Comfort Okra. I'm hanging out with a person whose name you need to eat some wachi and then you balance it with, with um, some salad. And then after that, you drink some, some, some tea with your, your fingers like this, the proper way that tea is drunk before you can mention his name. I'm hanging out with Scoffrey, Nana Yao Yeboa. He is a brand expert, and most importantly, when he talks and breathes and sleeps branding in everything that he does. So today we have a lot to learn, a lot to, to play about, and a lot to understand all about branding. But before I bring you the good ones, let's listen to Jeffany as, he, as she gives us Baba God. Get me your rent a car. I need a car in 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Jake, Jake Morris, and I travel globally. But when I'm in Ghana, York's rent a car is my reliable choice for safety and comfort on the road. York's rent a car provides comprehensive logistic services to mainly blue chip companies as well as individual clients. At a time we needed a car rental service, and York's fitted in very well to our standards. Their services is top notch. Drivers are on time. It was beautiful to see them behind the wheels. And any time they pick up a guest, the guests were very, very happy. Already? Yes. Excellent. Yorks Rent a Car provides services and expertise that include meet and greet services at the airport, car rental, driver personal outsourcing, and vehicle detailing. What, what, what's the problem? 
It's you. I told you. Yorks Rent a Car delivers world class service to its customers, having their highest safety and comfort in mind. So, watch you. Go over to open for him. Yorks Rent a Car runs 24 7 operations where customers can make car reservations and inquiries of our services online and also call our hotline. Welcome back. You know, I really love Jeffany. Jeffany, you know, is a young lady who just finished Wesley Girls. And I love the way she says, Baba God, you know, jamming away. So we are back and we are talking about personal branding. And um, today, as I said, we have Scoffrey Nanaya Yeboa, who is a coach, a brand strategist, and an MC. Scoffrey, tell us just a tiny, just a tiny little bit about your story. Who are you? Well, um, it's, it's thrilling to be on your set today, and I don't take it for granted. And kudos for the amazing job you've done for us all these years, and we are humbled to be on your set today. Thank you. Um, Scoffrey is a courageous, loving, compassionate, magnificent young man. Um, born and bred in Ibisoko, Florida, and found myself in purely human capital development. Okay. So um, he's a, a professional certified coach from ICF and the first African ontological mindfulness and ecological coach ever certified. Um, branding in the things of all that I do as a coach, a corporate trainer and consultant, the sense of the identity you project, who you claim and position that you are, right from even in coaching, coaching, we don't correct anything about you, but what you evoke and bring forth becomes that which you want to be and hold firm. In business, in, in creating a position, say, okay, this is me, this is who I am, this is what I want you to accord me the kind of respect for. Then in concern, if it's for business, say this entity, this is the meaning we bring, and this is what we claim we are. This is where I got myself into brand and for, because I needed to be able to support clients to position a certain identity that encapsulate their values, their mission, their purposes, such that whatever they do, it could be like a fragrance that people can smell. So basically, this is who I am and how I got into all this board game of branding. I see. So I heard you say branding is like a fragrance. Yeah. So if we're looking at branding as the subjects, I mean, we, let's, let's first take, I want us to go graduation. So mm. let's first, first look. What is branding? What would you define as branding? I mean, what would you really define as branding? One of the beautiful quotes I had in my book, um, Branding 360, mm -hmm. came from Michael Eisner, and he says this. A brand is a living entity. Mm -hmm. And it is enriched mm -hmm. or undermined cumulatively over time. The product of a thousand small gestures. So any time there is the situation called brand, Mm -hmm. So far as it's a living entity, then I say that branding is giving a definition of distinction to something, a project, an entity, or an individual. So that is the point I'd consider what branding or brand is. So brand is the end game of the process we call branding. So at the end of it all, something gets established. And the moment that brand or identity is established, the beautiful thing about branding is it is not an event. It's a process. It is that which you do to create an entity and what it stands for. And it is the same process you use to reinforce that which has been created. A thousand small steps, that's what you say. Absolutely. So let's start with our first step, mm. right? And considering that we, we talked about both um, personal when you, um, and, and then the, the um, an, an entity or an organization, mm. that means that when we talk about branding, it can be 
um, associated with um, a, a, a corporation or a product or something, yeah. and it can be associated with the individual. individual. So we want to associate now the small steps that an individual should take. And so, but, but, but first, let's find out why is it important to have a brand? After all, life is simple, <laughs> you know, you get up, you go eat, and you have, why, why should one have a brand? Well, the beautiful thing about the issue of branding is that whether you have it or not, a certain perception, viewship about you already Mm -hmm. exist or is in existence right so making it or embodying or rather letting people know so so it is not only what that will be perceived it is what you make people know mm -hmm. this is and I have what do I want you to know about me it is one aspect of it what do you perceive of me so that you won't use your life experiences as to how you see things. We call it the worldview to judge me. But I will give you whom I want you to receive as me. So that it is I score free that I present to you, not what you think through your filters I am. So branding is where you match these two. What I make you know versus what you consider I am. So that a clear line or a clear embodiment is established. So you cannot say I'm here and I'm living a simple life and jumping about oh yeah. Perceptions. And we are we all don't look at the same thing from one lenses. We all look at it from our individual worldviews. Yeah but but sorry if if I have one person personality mm. at home. I have a different person in the office. I have a different person with um, um, what do you call it? Maybe even church or or somewhere else. Different mm. my different constituencies. Will I not be confusing myself and possibly even confusing? My, my, my people who perceive me, and there was one person who say it's like the, the, the um, story that we have of uh, some people going to see an elephant and then the blind man. And then the one person said, oh, those are tails, that tails like a rope. Another person, no, it's like a tree. Somebody else said, no, 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 it's like a, 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 a trunk, you know, and everybody was saying different things. And, but they were all describing the same thing. Mm. If, we, if, you, if you have that idea that you would bring, um, um, what, what I want you to perceive about me, wouldn't be at end up mm. that would have this different perceptions mm. about one individual and yet that person also may even describe this coffee different. differently. I, I think one of the fundamentals to branding is mm -hmm. what we call, so in identity, it does not distort its representation. An identity does not distort its representation. So who I am at home must be mirrored who I am at work and must mirror who I am at church and who I am to my peers. That is why one of the ingredients to successful brands is consistency. Right, consistency, integrity, um, ensuring that what 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 somebody perceives in one space it's, it's always it's a reflection at another space. So, so guys, it's not like when you when they say you must what the perception should be that you must now have a different person when we meet you no. in, in Kumasi, and then when you go to um, Accra, yeah, no, you must be the same everywhere. Yeah. So, like me, I have fun <laughs> everywhere that I go. Okay, right. So we have Fran consistency. <laughs> right. So um, we've, just, we've, we've identified that we are looking at a perception. We've identified that we're looking at a, un, a unique identifier that is pers um, consistent mm. throughout your various um, spheres, um, of life. spheres of life. So then is there a process that's, that one can undertake? And if there is, how do we go about this personal branding issue? I think there isn't. Um, one dedicated 
route in building a personal oh, brand. Oh, you mean there's no one plus one equals two? No, 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 no. Why? Oh, oh, it's, it's the beauty of the universe. Okay. That is, we call, we call it flowers, yet even in flowers, we have that comes with thorns, that comes from trees, that comes from this and stuff, yet we call it flowers. So it's the same uh, means that our diversity actually creates the beauty of this universe. Mm. So there isn't only one route. First of all, mostly what I, what I keep um, um, reinforcing is start with your why. Start discovering your why. Mm. Because um, in 2001, when I graduated from life design school, mm. where it was purely how we shred you apart and bring you together, I quickly got to know that I am a purely human capital person. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that is who I am, what are the spaces, what unique areas do I really deploy through my potentials? The moment I started carving out who I am per my why, I knew I was a coach. I knew I was a trainer. I knew I can consult. So if you check, I would have been a deviation from those who want to go into pure HR, who want to go into marketing. So when you're able to adduce your why, it shapes you how you want to be represented, how you want to be valued, how you want to be, to be, to be identified. So I always go back to that point of, why are you here? It's not only what you think you are here for. Mostly it must be your total being, even in your sleep, in your dreams, in your engagement. We are not here by accident. Sometimes you may not even know who you really are and why you are here. But if you meet professionals, if for instance I engage you and I notice that you keep, you keep talking and most of your words are feeling, it means you are an emotional person. That is how come such people want to go into careers that you need emotion to be able to pursue it. And you meet people who say, oh, I think every time you, everything they say, you hear thinking them. <laughs> These are cognitive bias people. <laughs> <laughs> so then people oh, I want to experience, before you realize, you realize that these are people who are more intuitive. Then there are those you meet who are exceptionally gifted. They are the hybrid of all the three. So that is when you're able to adduce your why. And the moment the why is established, a purpose is written out of that. Then when you have that purpose, now you want to shred and say, for this which I want to live for, this is how. I will want to be identified. And remember, not only identified, what do you want to be remembered for? I mean, I, one of the things that sometimes I, I ask myself, and I ask, sometimes I ask others is, um, what would you like to be remembered for if you are no longer mm. here? One day when you are standing by that lovely graveside and they are weeping and weeping and weeping and they say, he's gone, she's gone. Mm. What would you like to be remembered for? So guys, let me ask you, what would you like to be remembered for? So you've discovered your why. Mm -hmm. Why do you exist? Mm -hmm. But most importantly, what, what would you like to be remembered for? And then how mm -hmm. would you like to be remembered mm -hmm. for? I think that talks about the person's values. Values, values absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So that is, that is how come branding or becoming a brand is not a chicken pea. It's, it's not a walkover. It is, it is human capital investment endeavor. So that is, that is why I keep saying that in, in, in giving a definition to a substance, you, there is a difference what you differ for. And there is your uniqueness, your DNA, your signature strength as an individual, because no human being is the same on this earth. Mm -hmm. So all that you have discovered about yourself and want to project for, on the day of reckoning, what legacy would you have left behind? So for me, I keep saying, it is not that which you are existing for. It is what you be existed for. That must drive you. I think sometimes that is the beautiful thing I look at creation story. God knew what he was creating already because he, he has seen his end, mm -hmm. the end of everything. Mm -hmm. Then he backtracked and started the journey. Putting the, the little, little things together. Exactly. That complete whole. Exactly. So that is a thousand questions. <clears throat> so most of in the not, a lot of people, a lot of us, don't have what should be existed when we are gone. 
We are only fixated about what is trending now. So <laughs> when the wind goes left, <laughs> when it goes right, <laughs> when, when, and it's still, then you see you be... But the moment you know what the legacy, that when I'm no more here, what do I want to be existed for? Then it will dictate the input now so that it shapes that which will outlive you. So branding is, is one of the most beautiful ways to, to etch yourself in the heart and memories of people, such that when you are even no more here, that which you existed for lives on. That is how come I love this definition that says that it's a living entity. You know, I mean, I, I'm talking to Scott Free here on the Springboard Hangout, and um, it's, it's a different way that we are looking at branding, because usually people think about the colors, people think about the, how you, 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 you wear your clothes and so on and so forth, and they think that is a brand. No. We start from the inside, and True. it's exhibited on the outside. Mm. If we decide that the inside, the outside is more important no. than the inside, Charlie, this one is not a case of uh, don't mind the don't mind. You are saying that mind the body, but also really, really pay direct to attention to what the engine is. And once you have the engine, you look for how you represent the external, mm. right? So that's that's what we have we have reached so far. We are looking at the engine, and so we are coming to a, a little bit about um, and people are you. I, I know some of you are sending you messages, so I'll be reading your messages and 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 asking if you have any questions. For, for, for him to answer, Scafri to answer for us in the studios today. So, um, you have somebody who has managed to understand him mm. or herself. Mm. And it's now, well, I mean, you can, you can say that this person stands for maybe um, punctuality, or this person stands for integrity, or this person stands, unfortunately, some people to those say that, as for this person. If he says, look, look up, you definitely, you definitely <laughs> must make sure that you're no, looking you at the ground. No, you don't look down, you start running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even look down, you, start, you running. start running. You know. Yeah, so you got that one, that one too as well. And um, so you, 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 you were in an organization. And um, I have an interesting question here. Let me, let me, let me, this thing. It says that, um, Felicia from, from Adar says that, what happens if you're a soloist in church? Mm. And a brand's manager in an alcohol mm -hmm. manufacturing company. Mm -hmm. And the person, the person has a, a, an emoji with it. <laughs> a <teardrop. laughs> what, what happens, you know, so in this case, the person has um, one identity, but the workspace, be, because, you know, usually when you are you, when you're a, a Christian, it's not supposed that you be taking drinks. Mm -hmm. So how do you marry that individual with the organization that you work for. Because don't forget, man must eat. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Our sustenance comes through eating and drinking water and um, keeping the body healthy. I believe that um, if I'm a personal brand, I'm a personal entity, and I'm carving that out there because it associates with a gift I have, the good thing in her case is that that is a company that you are a microcosm of. Mm -hmm. And your influence in there does not um, play a certain key interface where you are the face of the company, you are this and that and that. The good news is it is rather the company that can tap into your personal brand and use that to write what they are building. So for me, what I would say is that reinforce who you are, not only for a church setting, because you are more than a church, so that when your name is mentioned, it can correlate and resonate with that which you do as a soloist, as a talent, as a gift you are unto humanity. The other aspect, because if, I, if that is just what you do, the job, the job you do for your company, there is this beautiful thing. When the company realizes the influence actually you are because of what you carry as an individual, they create room for you to exist. They're able to partition spaces that will not distort that which they are also riding on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... 
it is, I would rather be concerned about what have you projected that they can buy into as a powerful influence on them than the influence in you? Because most that is where the cracks of the matter is. So that's where you find a common ground between the individual's brand and that the company. company. But, but let's, let's explore this a little bit more. You, you, a betting company, somebody, I, I, I saw that I'm, I'm asking your question. A betting company has um, um, approached you to be a brand ambassador mm. for them. Mm. Um, it's not everything. The fact that it's not everything you eat because you are hungry. Exactly. It's, it's not everything. So that is okay. That's what I'm saying. That when you know the value, the substance, the influence, and everything you have, it does not mean everything can ride you. Sometimes what is tricky is the funding that comes in and it looks so lucrative here and there. But no, it's it does it conflict with a certain identity you project. That this does it conflict with a certain um, perception you hold. Does it conflict with a certain belief? Because we are a 360 being, not just only a thinking one. What I believe in has got an impact in how I see the world and why I do what I do. So if that which you are bringing, if I'm an employee, it's a different thing. To become an, an ambassador, a brand ambassador, it conflict with my ethos of that which I do, the singing and everything, is I'm sorry. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a beautiful, I'm sorry. Somebody else will want to do it, but not me. Mm. Because we, we are all uh, minerals, beautiful diamonds, but we come in different shapes and form, even in colors. Mm. So for now, maybe I wouldn't be the kind of diamond you need for that particular um, 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 ring or whatever. You mm. could do for somebody else. Mm. But that also comes through with, have you been adulterating the brand you are? Because if you have been, that is when they will think you will be interested. But if they know that you go the, the whole, all, that this is who you are, without inconsistency, I'm sorry, they won't come. They won't even approach you. Right. So you've answered our question about how the person can use his or her personal brand mm. to, um, to uh, with that of an organization. Um, but then, if and you've also, the good thing is that you've, you've managed to touch on what if an individual's brand conflicts with that of the organization. But we, here we are, we have identified ourselves, we've, we've realized that, well, where I work, yes, there's a, there's, there's a connection mm. and I really love what I do. Mm. And I've decided that, hey, I am a, I mean, I'm a young person, I mean, now, we don't connect just the 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 one to one peer, peer but we also connect via social media. Absolutely. Therefore, I I do my posts on social media, and then HR calls calls me to the office and says, um, um, sweetheart, um, we saw some of your posts, and uh, we don't really like your some of your posts that you put online. Mm. Why, why why should I be your 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 problem? That is me. I mean, I'm not your company. I just work with you. Why should I bother you for my social media posts? One of the beautiful things I want to bring to fear is even when God wanted to weave this universe, mm -hmm. he did what we called interlocking or interwoving. Mm -hmm. uh, Adam was not here alone because he needed a companion. It means that our lives crisscross. And as a brand, if you understand that, let's say Facebook, Mm -hmm. the, the info you put out there mm -hmm. is um, a quarter of your CV. That, that which you put out there is a quarter of your CV. Oh, but, I'm not, but I don't put that in my CV. It, it's a shock because your name is there. And the things you write mm -hmm. and you claim you are, mm -hmm. I can see through your CV or not. Then, then if I pick your CV, I can say, <laughs> you said you are this and you are doing mm -hmm. that. There is a crash of identity. That is what I'm saying. Okay, there's something we've not mentioned. Let's be careful about the influence of hype. Hype. And how we mistaken that for brand. I because can... hype is like energy drink. Yeah. <laughs> then it's gone. Yeah. But nutritional supplement is a brand because it goes deep down 
and work itself up. So that which I'm posting on Facebook, if HR calls me, sometimes it's not even, it has no direct bearing with the company. But I know in South Africa, a teacher who got bored alcohol on his status so wild and deep that he, he, she lost her job. Why? Even though that is your personal private space. Mm -hmm. Because kids learn more of the doing than the hearing, that is where we want to bring your attention to this subject matter. Mm, 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 mm. And if you had nothing to do with that, per what you do, we wouldn't have been concerned. If you were working for any of this alcoholic beverages and stuff, there is no problem. But because you are an instrument of nurturing, an ecosystem that nurtures, we will be glad. First, we, we can be cautioned. I mean, when we meet you and you drink, we don't have a problem. But when it becomes a public display, not only the sipping, but you quaff to the point where you are so done and you begin to misbehave, then it becomes a negative influence to that which you... So, and, and I keep saying, for me, for instance, if you check my social media um, um, account, I, I don't even initialize the name. It's for a purpose. Because I understand the brand I am. It's, it's for a purpose. Mm. I don't even initialize my name. Well, I'm filling forms and I'm skewed to initialize. And I mean, who to team me? My body feels certain it's fun. Very because uneasy. Because I embody who I am and that I'm projecting. What I write about, what I share my thoughts about, the pictures I want to post, must all inure to that which I say I am. Because it's not only, like I said, it's not only what you perceive about me. It is what I also make known, you. reveal and unravel to you. So that maybe it will take away some of the distortions you might be carrying from other places to where I am or who I am. So it is mission critical. How? You know, yesterday I made a short video and indeed it's a concern about our young girls of today. They are virtually going naked on TikTok. Oh. They are dangling their boobs, tweaking their waist, shaking their booties and everything. And, and at this time, it is thrilling. But the internet does not forget. Do you know Michael Jackson had to cough millions of dollars to buy out the videotapes of the sister's pornography history? He had to buy everything out. It was not he, Michael Jackson, but because it he shares know. a Jackson last name, a sister. Um, we've had those who start, I remember I was on an international platform with an ex hall who has become a professor and stuff. And she, she, she looked at that past and wished it didn't exist. The only good thing is that she now tells a better story out of that to empower other people. And if you don't have that grace upon you that you can use your yesterday to create a different future for other people. You're tweaking and everything is done. And the next time, by 30, now you are settled in Charlie, I want to be on T and D, D, D. Internet does not forget. So it is important what we use social media for in brand enforcement. Excellent. It's very important. And um, I, 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 I really, really feel for those who may have not started well on that, in that space. And it's not just for the online, it's also in person as True. well. Because yesterday, I mean, over the weekend, I had a very, very interesting ex um, experience where I went to somebody's um, um, shop and the person did, did, did something. Unfortunately, the person wasn't there, but his, her, her assistant mm. did the thing and totally overcharged me. Mm. And this assistant, and it was done, at first I said, oh, it was, it was not deliberate. But after I had a conversation with the owner, no. the, the person uses a CT, CCTV, so oh. the person sees what the person is doing. Oh. So I said, I'm so very sorry, this is a deliberate thing that was done. And I was like, here you are, a young lady, look at what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You are marrying your name. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we'll find out how somebody who has found him or herself in that unfortunate position, mm -hmm. how he or she can reposition themselves Absolutely. their personal brands Absolutely. but so before so we'll go for a short break and we are going for the game changer break when we return we'll come back with this interesting conversation don't go any anywhere today's game changer involves two scenarios in the first two developers working late are frustrated by the lack of dinner options and the ordering process 
they have a light bulb moment and decide to build an online food ordering app. Fast forward 17 years and today, Grubhub is worth over $4 billion. Our second story involves an employee of a communication startup. He's dating long distance and he's tired of traveling 10 hours to see his partner every time. He also has a light bulb moment and builds an easy to use video calling platform to connect with his lover. Today, that app connects lovers, students, and businesses worldwide. You might know it as Zoom. So far, we have three founders, two companies, and one unique mindset that made it all possible. Today, our game changer is spotting opportunity. While Zoom and Grubhub serve very different purposes, they have one thing in common. Their founders had problems and spotted opportunity within them. One set of founders was hungry and built a way to connect people to food. The other was lonely and created a means to connect people around the world. By solving problems, both companies created opportunities and billions for their founders. So how can we spot the opportunities in our own lives? Step one, assess the problems in your environment. Step two, consider how current solutions can be improved. And step three, See where your skill set can be applied to create value. I leave you with a quote from Vinod Kosler. Any problem is an opportunity. The bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. This has been The Game Changer with Jojo Okren. Have a phenomenal week. Welcome back to the Springboard Hangouts. And as I said earlier, we're talking all about personal branding and we're hanging out today with the one and only Skofri, Nanayao. Um, your bois. And we've talked about personal branding. We first looked at the why and what, what is and looked at the perception that it's not just I mean, a final destination, but it's actually a, a process. And that process creates little, little exper experiences. And that experience comes into culminates in, in a complete whole. Mm. That, that is what people perceive or people say it is a brand. That brand can be personal, or it can be corporate, or it can even be uh, for a product or anything. Yeah. But there's some perception value attached to that um, um, entity. Then we also looked at why, and we realized that we need to have uh, you know, a, 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 de a definition of, or, or a, an end game in mind. And based on that end game, we would decide how we would live mm. our lives. Mm. So you have done that. And then what if there's a conflict between that's what you represent and that which maybe you do? And we realize, that, okay, if there's a conflict, we'll find ways of looking for a uh, common ground. But if there's no common ground, sister, brother, I beg, go your way. I don't want to go out your way so that you can be whole. You can still represent the entity that you are. And then Scoffrey brought up a very, a very interesting point where he was talking about, oh, so sometimes people, I mean, we talked about the online presence and how the things we put out there based on our need for dopamine, high, <laughs> and the people like us and so on and so forth. But there's no value. It is all um, energy drink. Um, I don't want to mention energy drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sued. <laughs> You know, just on, but we should look more about the brand, the one that is vital, the one that sustains you. So we went away with the question, and actually, I don't know whether you, you I mean, you, that means that you are really following the program. And then some, one of, somebody sends this um, question to me and says that, Charlie, I am hot. This is Kwame. Says that, Charlie, I'm hot. Recently, some bad people reproduced. A screenshot of something I had, were they bad? <laughs> when you were posting, didn't you realize? Okay, some bad people reproduce a screenshot of something I posted on social media five years ago, endorsing a brand, a product that is now my competitor brand. How do I respond? Well, I think one of the um, brand management, when there are crises of this sort, mm -hmm. is in, in Healing of Memories, two things that we say acknowledge mm -hmm. the knowledge of what that is showing forth acknowledge it because in acknowledgement it allows you to more or less take a step away from what is happening 
then look at it holistically. Then you can now identify what can be done about it. But most often than not, we fight the thing. The, our natural freeze and flight mode, mm -hmm. you know, think, mm -hmm. then the ego says, no, it is me, you want to put it. No, no, no. But the moment you're able to look at it from the 360 angle, you realize, okay, first, sometimes, let me put it, yes, I said this five years ago. As at that time, that was my thought and my position. And that is what is important when you are a consistent person. People can say, yes, if he can own up for this and apologize for it, the person has shown that integrity what a brand is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if in the past, till even that point, you have been so inconsistent, even your apology does not suffice. Yeah. It does not mean anything. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that is how we keep saying branding is the process. A brand is the carved out identity that has been projected. Then after the brand is also established, the branding keeps on going because mm -hmm. now you reinforce that has been carved out. So that consistency will, will salvage the situation for you. That integrity, that acknowledgement of what is showing you forth. And sometimes the promise of a commitment anew mm -hmm. to what else changes the whole ball game. Let's say um, somebody who have lived his or her life, like I mentioned earlier on that, okay, she, she was all into prostitution and stuff. She's gone to school and become a professor now. Now she is running a social project that is taking girls off the street mm -hmm. and giving them empowerment. So you see, she's still using her past that could have hunted her. Mm -hmm as a conduit to better the lives of people. So who, you, can't, you cannot use it against her. It's just like those days, when your mom spanks you, Asa, <laughs> whoever comes in, your child is in, the child has been spanked already. So mostly, this is how a lot of us, and it also depends who is supporting you in, the, in those brand crises. But some just do it for their career, but there are those who have got the heart of the heart you have to support you. Consistency, integrity, acknowledgement. That, that makes such a difference. So, yeah, um, so in this case, if you are rebranding yourself, you are saying that um, acknowledge the that past. Is, yes. And then um, also ensure that some, but if the, the past may be wrong, so you now have to change the trajectory. Absolutely. By maybe asking some interesting questions mm. or and finding mm. what you can innovate mm. about the new mm. you that you want to come out True. with. True. Yeah, right? It's, it's that, it, it is that, that is what we call the repositioning. Yes, the repositioning. Because so you want to delve a little bit into that about how you can reposition yourself successfully, mm. navigate and activate a new um, 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 you. If you look at what um, Apple did, mm -hmm away from Macintosh. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that the Apple they have today existed in the name Macintosh. And when I read their story, at a point, Steve Jobs himself, the brain behind his own company, Macintosh, got kicked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's they, they He said, got kicked out. They said they didn't like him. They didn't like him and stuff. <laughs> and the beautiful thing is that it allowed him the space to also go and work on himself. Mm -hmm. So when he was able to re-establish and reposition a Steve job that can drive greatness, some way, somehow, he was brought back into the free and the new identity. So you see, a, a, an identity reposition Steve job could now give birth to an identity from Macintosh to Apple, and it fitted rightly so. So most of it than not, we want to fix it from the outer and forget that until the machinery that produces the outer result is fixed, the outer cannot get it done. And it also goes back to how we mistake hype. That is, hype means, okay, then let's do this. Let's do some brand mistake. No, let's sit down and let's engage. Comfort. This position you are, you are versus the past. Where do you want to go from here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What new beliefs do you hold? Can I experience from you that new position? Because the new position is not just out of the words you say. Even your body can reflect it. Your activities can shape it. Because we all have our own skeleton, our cowboys. We all have our past. There are things that we are not proud of. But the, the new positioning 
Like I said, in acknowledgement, bring all the things to the table and let's pick and choose what cool we work with. But if you don't bring anything to the table and you think we should just do some media damage control, you see, when you have a saw mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you keep pumping it and you keep pumping it, the surface can look dry. Yeah. And it will be eating deep into the bone. So what do you are pumping the surface through hyping? When, when it becomes obvious, <laughs> you realize that you have more hole than people were seeing. Yeah. And that is what is critical that acknowledge, be open. Look at the past. Look at what is important now for you. Look into the future. When you exist this world, what do you want to be existed for? What, what legacy? And when that is well carved out, we galvanize all the strength and push it out. Thank you. So, Scoffrey, you have done the need for, you have acknowledged, you have um, carved out a new you, the values, and yeah, we are attempting to live, you know, step by step, to live out the new brand that is, in, is, is you. And then um, somebody comes and diverts you, you know, it's almost like a drug addict who has um, come off, has done, um, what do you call it, dry, some dry spell and is now re rehabilitated. And then goes to an event and something really kicks the person and so the old one Suffice. surfaces. Yeah. And so there's, there's a brand clash, there's, 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 there's this kind of this, this connection. How do we get back onto the track? Do we say that once it's happened, it's downhill forever? Or do we try and gain back that which the reputation that we have lost due to that interference? I think we must establish that branding is like savings. Savings, okay. That is why when you are organic mm -hmm. and something of this nature occurs and people can dig into your savings account, to come and support that which has occurred. It's human. This is purely human. It's, it's like I didn't know the, the, the recent musician who said, who hasn't messed up? We looked up <laughs> <laughs> okay, but because that is, that is why the consistency is important, such that when the human weaknesses, which we all have, shows forth, we can dig into your bank account or dig into your savings, because I'm not talking about the fiscal, but I'm talking about what you have done all these years. We can dip into it and say, if you check your track record, this is one out of the blue. This is one out of the blue. And companies have gone through it. Uh, BP got its oil um, Spill. rigs spilled somewhere, paid so in much money and stuff in the 2000. Uh, Microsoft have had its own challenge. Um, Apple now have got its own challenge. Look at our banking setup and look at um, banks that have, I, I pride myself so much because anytime I speak about um, African growth and everything, I'm not able to cite an African indigenous business. I, 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 it, it, something about me feels uncomfortable. Look at Fidelity Bank. Look at Cow Bank. You, you, you can hold them if you, this is, this is, this is us. This is me in there. So over the years, Look at how they've been able to tiptoe gradually, making sure. Yes, they, they will have their own apps and now here, you want to go to the ATM machine today, it is eh, and, but, but they begin to grow in consistency. This is what we are talking about. Um, Mr. Edu, Mr. Efa, at a point you could, you could say that the banks become so powerful that even the individuals that used to be the brain, and that is the point where you can say a brand identity has been established to the point that it has even absorbed the individual identity. So what we're talking about is the saving culture of your brand. Mm, mm. So um, from, the, from this, if a brand... You bring out a very important point where you, we have the, individual, the, the personal brand and we have the corporate brand and sometimes the brand can be totally overwhelmed mm. by the, the, the corporate brand can totally be over, over subsumed mm. by the individual brand the, the individual the personal brand mm. so that there's no separation mm. between the two if that happens to a corporate 
how do they bring about some form of separation so that the personal brand can exist on its own and the corporate brand can also exist on its own? I think it, it comes, um, we have different careers mm -hmm. that the linking is not good for. Okay. For instance, if it's a music career, if you really have a retirement plan in mind into the future, like football, mm -hmm. that is where like a footballer turned coach, mm -hmm. each of these two entities function differently and their brand must be promoted differently. So in those careers like music also, um, uh, this, this guy who did the, the, the fun game for the, the, the the, the ball they did in America, he, he, Dr. Dre, had built the Dr. Dre musician to a point, stopped, and started influencing the producer, Dr. Dre, to the point that he started producing devices here and there. So it is, but if, if you can focus and sustain the integrity throughout, Dr. Dre musician, Dr. Dre producer, Dr. Dre device producer, you only want to look for just something that cuts across one. But when you come to trying to separate, you need to, you the individual must be identified with something that you can drive on your own without bringing in that of the company. The company must also be able to find something they can drive on their own without bringing in that. But the beautiful thing is that two brands reinforces the other. Mm -hmm. So there's no overshadowing because mm -hmm. you, you, that is how come, let's say, if it's Mr. Dewey, they will say he's the former so -and -so of Calvin. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's, even though he's no more there, he is the former. So this is what we, be, we should become conscious of. The legacy you are leaving behind. Mm. Assuming he was booted out, how was he going to be introduced now? <laughs> so, so, so your brand disassociation does not mean you cannot benefit from that brand that you used to work for have been weighed. And sometimes the delinking is not a drastic one by force it, you cut it off. No. Remember, we, we are not islands. We, we link with each other in a way. It might not be so concrete, but because it is um, subliminal, you still want to write into it. So company brand is treated as an entity on its own because it will outlive all of us. If you so know that, then individual brands, look at Maya Angelo. Yeah. Look, look at that woman. Soul. Beautiful, Beautiful soul. soul. Anytime you read anything about her, it's as if she still lives. And that is what we are talking about. So what, whichever company she works for and everything she does, or she did in the past, you can realize that people still want to write on that, write stories around her, say, everything. So that is what my drivers as individuals, even if I'm a military officer and I exist the military, how can I still be an influencer for the military in my own private life such that it won't throw debt? The, the ex-officer of the Ghana Armed Forces, that's A, B, C, D, E, A, the ex of this particular man, the former this of that. Because a lot of us are not conscious about the exit point, that is how can we mess up. So the delinking should not be a deliberate delink, except something of a cat, that you want to right a certain wrong. But in actual sense, there shouldn't be a drastic delink. Look at Richard Branson and Virgin Airlines, <laughs> Virgin Atlantic and everything, everything well, Virgin. Every, every, everything Virgin. <laughs> Yet he's an individual. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so the delinking shouldn't be so deliberate, except where something has occurred and you want to save other ties. It's been such an interesting discussion today, um, Scott, Scott Free, and I'm very, very, very grateful that you made time to be with us. So as we wrap up, what would you say would be your three key takeaways for our precious listeners online? Well, I think my key um, three takeaways basically is your why to, to your existence here. The sustainability through consistency of that which you say you are and you do. And the knowledge that we are fallible. Today we are here, tomorrow we are not there. We make mistakes. But our consistency salvage our errors and our flaws. So building a brand, go for it. Don't think of hype. 
building a brand, go for it. Don't believe or work with the hype. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very grateful that you are. And we definitely must do this one more time. I, I mean, agree. another time, not just one, another time. And, uh, and um, in case you want to say, oh, I want to read some more or something, um, Scoffrey has written this book, The uh, 360 Branding, and you can get it. Where can they get it? On Amazon. The Amazon. hard copies are out now. So, okay. you, Amazon, you can get the the PDF or yeah, the Kindle the e version. Or the e version, it's which is easier to, to read. Yeah. Excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. So then that brings us to the end of today's Hangout. Today's Hangout was really teased out very interesting points that I hope you were able to write down or you were able to think about it and use that to grow or to, to make your brand one that will be outstanding and one that will live when you live on even after you resisted the sin, whether you resist in a company or you resist in life itself. You know us. We'll be repeating this program on ETV on Sunday at 5 p.m. And when you take that as your first course, at 7 o'clock, Albert will be coming your way on Joy FM as well as on Facebook. And we're having a part two of the discussion with George Ander, the Honorable George Ander. And that edition, if you want to know how a boboya, a boboya and George is linked, don't miss the edition. It is, pro it is so explosive. Until we come your way again next week, remember... God loves you, I love you, and you are the best thing that ever happened on earth. You are a unique brand. Let's see you shine your craft. I love you. Bye. You are the best. So long we've been here, we've been trying to break free, chains that hurt us in our minds, but no more, this is a turning point, no more searching, searching. the light has, the light has come. Turn.